Yeah. You are. Good evening, everyone. We'll begin with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any additions or deletions to the agenda tonight? No, sir. No, sir. Do I have a motion to approve the December 15th business meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That takes us to our action agenda. Item 1, Route 36, Water Project. Turn it over to Mr. Patterson. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, we were contacted by Maryland Department of the Environment about uh, in December, early December, about the opportunity um, to get some funding for Maryland Route 36 water. They are offering $200,000 of Maryland water, uh, water supply grant and then $100,000 loan forgiveness and $100,000 loan. It's a project that we actually applied for um, two years ago and for whatever reason, we never heard from them. Then all the way out of the blue, we did hear from them. So, um, it's, it's a needed project, but it does come with loan, um, and the impact to the customers in that area would be between 3 and $4 a month if we were to accept this funding. Oh, good. Well, sir, I'll make a motion we accept item one. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, commissioners. Thank you, Adam. Adam. That takes us into our consent agenda. Administrator Bennett. Good evening, commissioners. Um, six items on the consent agenda tonight. Uh, item two is the Bedford Road Sanitary District Rehabilitation Phase 7 project funding. That would authorize you to approve a million dollars in funding from the Maryland Department of Environment um, for this project and would, would uh, authorize you to sign the required documents. Item three is the Levitt AMP Cumberland Music Series. Um, contribution of $20,000 to the Allegheny Arts Council um, for, for the grant award that they got. If you remember back in June, um, we, we talked about this in funding, uh, potentially the grant award if we got it, we did get it, so this would be that funding. Item four, Governor's Office of Crime Control and Pre Prevention grant award in the amount of $44,228 for fiscal year 23, um, county election safety and security upgrades. Item five is resolution 23-1, amending the rules and regulations governing employees of Allegheny County, Maryland. Um, that would be for one item to add uh, Juneteenth to the calendar. Item six is Mineral Solutions VESTA managed detection and response um, uh, com for the computer-aided dispatch system. No financial impact uh, to, for this to the county. Item seven, fiscal year uh, 23 salvage yard license issuances. Um, to, to issue licenses to Allegheny Scrap, Lockhouse Road Facility and Day Road Facility, Reeves Motor Company, uh, Jones Garage and Salvage, Porter Salvage Yard, TC Race Cars, and Twig Used Cars and Parts um, at, with a $100 licensing fee for each. Uh, last item, travel request for fair personnel for Kevin Kamoff, Sam Wilson, and Steve Hout to travel to the Pennsylvania Fair Convention from January 18th to the 21st uh, with a cost not to exceed $2,000. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? No, sir. No, sir. Any items withheld? No, sir. no, sir. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That takes us to public comment. Mr. Stallman. Good evening, everybody. Mr. Atkinson, welcome to the tribe. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Get used to seeing me. All righty, sir. <laughs> Commissioners, I'm here to beat the drums one more time about Cache Valley Road and the signage. A year ago, I was here and I asked about having school signs put up, speed limits enforced, some sort of, of law enforcement that would slow the traffic down. 
and it's a year later. You've had a year to study about it. Nobody knows anything about it. Are you going to do anything or not? Mr. Stallman, do you feel that, uh, is there a particular time of day that this is excessive, or, or, or what, are you, what are you seeing? Well, the speed limit uh, is excessive from 5 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night, every day. And I talked about putting some sort of cameras up. And I got the home rule here, and it sucks because I can't imagine anybody with the authority that the county commissioners have that would put something like this ahead of a child's life. Think about it. They have them in Hagerstown, they have them in Frederick, they have them in Westminster. Why can't we have them in Allegheny County? This rule here, is garbage. And I know who put this thing together, and I'm, if he was here, I'd tell him about it again. But anyway, back to the signs, back to the school signs. There's one sign on Cache Valley Road in three and a half miles that has anything to do with school. And that's in front of the school. And that's coming one way from the Vale. There's 18, 17 speed limit signs on my road, and half of them you can't see because of foliage. I used to trim that stuff myself, but I ain't doing it no more because nobody else cares. But I do. Glenn, there's a couple quick things we can do to, to, to help at least a little bit. Sure. Um, one is, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Adam, we can take this to the Traffic Advisory Council, and he, so they meet quarterly, monthly. Um, we can take it to them and let them know there's an issue out there. That way they consider it. Um, you know, that's a mix of engineers, state police, uh, the sheriff. Um, we can also reach back to the sheriff um, I know he's been active out there before and putting up some stuff. We can let him know again um, that this is going on and, you know, it's the same problem. But he can't have someone there 24 hours a day, but he can, he can put some of the, uh, the, the camera out that at least notifies you what your speed is. He can do that and he can try to beef up his presence there for a while. So I'm happy to do at least those two things for you. Yeah. Well, and, and I, really don't, I really don't have a problem, even though the word got back to, to Craig that I was, was kind of putting a hammer on him and throwing him under the bus, but I wasn't. But I can understand you can't be there all the time. He's only got 20-some deputies, and they're serving papers, and they're doing this, and they're doing that. They can't be everywhere. But cameras can be there every day and every night. And Jake Shade told me, he said, we don't like to do that because the county citizens are paying enough as it is. All of those speeders are not Allegheny County citizens. I kept track of it on different occasions. And more than half of the cars goes through Cache Valley are Pennsylvania cars. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Seriously. Well, you know, too, seeing uh, police around and that it doesn't take long for people to talk that if yep. so you know periodically <laughs> someone's sitting that yeah. you know they're sitting there the word gets around and you might be looking at a little different picture also yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but anyway I would, i'd really like i'm going to just keep beating that drum until there's get something done because it's here you know there's a lot of kids goes to that school out there Mm -hmm. And there's, there's high school kids getting picked up on school buses. If you go out there and sit in the parking lot at that school, you see all those parents coming in there dropping off kids, picking up kids. You know, that's half the traffic at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Which end do you live at, Mr. Stallman? Pardon me? Which, which end do you live at? Corganville end. Okay. 
I'm halfway. Okay. Glenn, how nice was it when they was working on the crossing there? Because I'll throw it out there. Because everyone tries to go that way thinking it's a shortcut. Yeah. And it's absolutely not. No. You can beat them all day long going on down and going under the bridge and going up. Yep. That's a fact. Yep. But how much of this ended when the crossing was getting repaired? Oh, well, my. It was terrible. Yeah, but, I mean, we didn't have any issue no, with the crossing. No, none at all. Because they knew they couldn't get through. Yeah. Because it, it, it is, and I will speak on this. It's not the local residents out there that's an issue. They're the ones that's having to pay the price for this. And, and if you if anyone really does want to see this, just go up there around from Sheets down to Cash Valley Road and set at 5.30 in the morning and watch them because they'll, they'll run the stop signs at Sheets, yep. which has caused numerous accidents. They fly down turn out Cash Valley Road and guarantee you that some of them will hit 70 to 75 going out there to get to National Highway. It would, when it's quicker to get down, go up to uh, up 40. Yeah. It's a mile longer to go through the valley. But yeah, people don't see that because they think they're going quicker. Yeah. yeah. And they need to ask yourself, would they want this in the neighborhood they live in? Yeah. But they don't because people only think about their immediate need. So I don't know what issue the Traffic Advisory Committee can come up with because my opinion would be nice to put up there, not a through road only for local traffic only, but I'm told that's against the law, yeah. that you can't do that. No, no, you can't. I've, I've, I've checked everything. I've, you know, I've been to the state roads and, and I've, I've been on the computer and there's just so many things you can't do. Yeah. And then you come up with this thing that says there's still something else you can't do, which is baloney, you know, speaking of that. Congratulations on your picture in the paper today with both them pretty girls. Oh, thanks. I didn't do anything. Both <laughs> them daughters? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Sarah that next time you see it. I will. I will. But anyway, I, I, just, I just, you know, I don't want to be an ass about this, but I'll tell you what. Somebody is really going to be in trouble if some little kid ever gets hurt out there. My daughter-in-law has a sign on the telephone pole there that says, drive here like you live here. Mm -hmm. Nobody else put up with it. Yeah. We'll keep looking at it for you, Mr. Stallman. Okay. What else can I do? Linda, thank you. Nice seeing you. Isn't she something? <laughs> yeah. I wish I could hire her. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Mr. Stallman. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Any uh, final thoughts tonight, Mr. Beeman? Uh, the commissioners met this evening in closed session at 3 o'clock to consider uh, concerns of a proposal for a business or industrial organization locating or expanding here. I'm happy to announce that the commissioners took action on that. They also met for the purpose of uh, considering the investment of public funds. That matter was tabled until further executive session. And present for the meeting were myself, the county commissioners, Jeff Barclay, director of economic and community development, Adam Patterson, director of public works, and Cindy Young, recording secretary. Very good. Mr. Bennett. Um, guys, I'd just like to thank you for your time at 4 o'clock today and hearing the salary study recommendations and getting, getting your guidance. Um, just for the record, we'll be bringing something formally to you guys um, in two weeks to get that adopted, and also we'll get to work on uh, retirements. So. Great. I know we're looking forward to both of those. Mr. Brody? Sir, congratulations, Mr. President. Oh, your thank first you. meeting. You've done very, very well. <laughs> right. But, hey, I just want to give everyone a heads up. Their tax bills were coming out. A lot of people was going to notice that their uh, assessment has went up because everyone probably got a notice in the mail within the last couple of weeks or, or coming. Those in zone two, yes. Yeah, well, a I'm in that county. zone. So just okay. remember, when you see your assessment was up, went up, that is the state, not the county. I would highly recommend for anyone to appeal it uh, because there, there's, there's something going on here that, and i am been hit with it very hard the last couple of days. We commissioners, no one that works for Allegheny County sets the assessment for your house or property. That is done by the state. But I'm seeing some of these assessments that some people was take pictures and show it to me. Their assessments jump by 30 or 40 percent. Now, if if that has, if they apply for the homestead tax credit, it can only go up 4 percent a year, which is still 
a lot and a lot to swallow, but please apply. It, it's only good if you use it. Uh, appeal it. I, I can talk in one particular of a house that it was a general description. It was assessed at $55,000. State jumped it to 79. In the meantime, the house was sold. The actual price they got out of it was 25. It, it, but who it, that really makes look bad is us. So with that being said, and we're looking at all kinds of stuff, the county has a little bit of surplus coming this year. Guys, I'd like to look at doing reinstituting our little bit of uh, property okay. tax uh, increase or decrease. <laughs> you know, I'd like decrease. to increase it for a couple more years. Just something to think about. I'm not asking yeah. for a decision, mm -hmm. but because uh, people need some help. Right now, we're really. We're, we're pushed in two different ways. Government seems to be growing and making money, and the people get are getting poorer and poorer. And I, I don't like that. So, so that's all. Thank, thank you, Mr. You, President. Sir. Thank you, Commissioner Atkinson. I just wanted to thank both of you for helping me to uh, work my way into this, and especially thank Linda, who's been tremendously helpful, and Jason, getting me settled in my new office and getting uh, my feet under me to, to move forward with all of uh, the decisions we are making. So I, I really truly want to thank you all for, for making this transition really easy. Great. Great to have you aboard. I thank know there are a lot of great things going on right now, and uh, we look forward to uh, rolling out that salary study in a few weeks and also looking at the retirement incentives. Uh, if there's nothing else, so the next business meeting will be Thursday, January 26th. Thank you. Very nice. You did say